Good morning and welcome to My Sweet Home Living. Thank you for joining me today. I am kicking off an amazing event today, all for you, called In the Nick of Time, Last Minute Christmas Gift Ideas for you to get you ready for the holiday season. Guys, it's already December the 3rd. Christmas will be here in a lickety split. <laughs> it will be here uh, in no time at all. Good morning, Miss Jessica. Hey, Miss Lisa. You all hop on in here. I have a fun last minute gift idea that I think you are gonna find pretty interesting. And it's something that you can make out of things that you probably definitely have around your home. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. Hop on in here. I'm going to move this because I know my necklace is going to rub on that already. <laughs> and I don't want to hurt your ears this morning. Come on in here. Come on in and tell me hello. Good morning, Miss Misty and Cheryl and Kathy and Debbie. Miss Misty, I know you have sent me a message and I promise I will get to your message today. I looked at it last night and didn't get a chance to respond. Um, but I will get to it today. Thank you all so much for showing up this morning. Bright and early on a Saturday morning, if you are watching us live, or you may be watching us on the replay later, or maybe even on YouTube later, this video will be available there as well. However, anywhere, anytime you're watching, I do want you to know that this is a segment, a 45 minute segment, and an amazing event called In the Nick of Time. And there are presenters lined up all day today. I believe there are 18 of us creatives that are bringing you some last minute Christmas gift ideas that you can use. They're practical and things that you can make uh, DIY at the last minute to give to someone special for this Christmas holiday season. So hop on in here. I've got something so much fun for you. Patty, your Christmas shopping is done. I am so jealous. <laughs> I am so jealous. Uh, I am a little bit farther ahead than what I normally am, but I'm always a last minute girl, so I won't be finished until the last minute. <laughs> How many of you are like me? Good morning, Miss Sonia and Connie and Jillian. So in my video description, You'll find all the information for today's event. It will take you, uh, there's links for the next presenter. There are links to take you to the groups that are hosting the event today. It's been hosting in two different groups. So if you want to head over to one of those groups and uh, just refresh your page every 45 minutes, you will find the next presenter. Following me is the Comfy Nest with Grace. You will find her live at 8.45 a.m. Central today. At 9.30 tonight, you'll want to head over to... I just noticed my hands are a little bit coffee stained. <laughs> um, you will want to head over to the page called Darche Designs. Now Darche, it looks, it's spelled like dar -she, but it's pronounced Darche. You can find her page and she was going to be giving away something very fun that we can all enjoy. At 9.30 p.m. tonight, you'll want to head over to her page for uh, that fun. So let me show you what I have here. Actually, I think this is eh, it's still a little bit warm but I don't think I'll need my oven mitt anymore. So this is what I've been cooking up this morning. Does it look like a load of breakfast? <laughs> Not quite, right? We have some good yummy fabric strips. I have some torn muslin. I have some homespun red check and I have some homespun uh, little uh, stripe, red stripe. So I've got a good hefty pile of that. My husband came in the kitchen this morning. He said, are you making hazelnut coffee? <laughs> said no nope, because I'm not a coffee drinker and that's why he was kind of asking me like hmm I said no you're smelling and what I've got in the oven it has coffee and vanilla so socks we're baking socks you've heard it all right <laughs> now a little disclaimer before we get into this project let me tell you I love things that look old look vintage and worn tattered you name it. If it's new, I'm going to make it look vintage. <laughs> so this project, the style that I'm creating mine today may not be your cup of tea or your cup of coffee, shall we say. However, you can take this same idea and make it your own um, without the grunge or without the, the old vintagey look. Okay. It does. It smells amazing, Miss Jackie. So I have found some mismatched socks of my boys. I have two boys and a daughter but my boys they've had um some sports socks you know that they have you know growing up they've played football baseball basketball and they like these long tall socks okay 
Now, the long, tall socks are the perfect things that we're going to be needing for today's project. I still haven't told you what we're making today, have I? <laughs> we are making some heating packs. Yeah, yeah, you're right. For those sore, achy muscles, joints, cramps, maybe you got some tummy cramps or some aching muscles or bones in the winter. We all get a little achy in the winter, so who couldn't use a heating pack for the winter? Yes, there's always mismatched socks, you're right. Now, if you're kind of funny about using used socks, put them on the washer, sanitize them, bleach them, whatever you want to do, right? If you're really persnickety about using used socks, go get you a pack of new socks. <laughs> I just didn't want to spend the money on brand new socks when I have tons of mismatched socks in my laundry pile and socks that my boys have outgrown. So that's why I'm using what I have. But socks can be expensive. So use what you have. And uh, the only thing that I, that I purchased for today's project is rice. That's right, rice. I just went to the dollar store and bought the cheapest, biggest bag of white rice. Okay, that's what we're gonna be using today for these heating pads. Now, these are perfect to wrap around your neck. They're perfect to, you know, just lay on an aching bone, to lay on your tummy if you've got tummy cramps. It's perfect gift that anybody can use, okay? Male or female, old or young, or anywhere in between, this is something that everybody can use, and it's something that you can make in just a matter of a few minutes, okay? Now, I took my white socks and I coffee grunged them. So I'm gonna be making more of like a primitive style heating, I don't know what you wanna call these, heating pads or heating packs. You can call them anything you want. Um, but I'm gonna be using some that look a little grungy because that's just my style. You don't have to do that. Now I have a real long green sock and then I just have some white socks that I'm gonna use. So it depends on what you have. It depends on the look you're going for. Uh, but yes, you can, there's lots of things that you can do with this. You, lots of different styles already. You probably do have rice already. You're right, Jackie. So lots of these things that you have, I'm only using two or three, maybe four, depending on how you want to finish it off or kind of decorate it to kind of make it look non-sockish <laughs> of what you can use today. Good morning. Thank you, Miss Lisa, for sweetening the home today. She sprinkled us out there. That's right, Miss Victoria. This would be a super fun gift idea. Now, it's something practical, right? I mean, you know, who couldn't use a heating pad? So I'll give you all the instructions on how you can use this heating pad um, as we work on the project and get finished. You will want to make sure that you use socks that don't have any like synthetic type fibers, like those fuzzy socks probably not the best idea okay because they can kind of melt so what i'm doing i'm taking my sock and i'm cutting mine had like a little nike swoosh at the end so i'm cutting that off because i don't want the nike swoosh to show <laughs> um in fact maybe if i tie it right there it probably wouldn't show okay i'll just leave that on there on this one but um you can cut the end off or you can leave the end on. It's totally up to you. We'll probably make it a couple of different ways. I um, think I'm most excited about this green sock though. Now, however, dark colors, beware. It shows every speck of lint. But um, I think I'm excited about this one as well. And I think this one's pretty thick and it's got a weird looking mark at the end. I think I'm gonna cut the tip off of this one. Um, now, if you sew, if you are, you know, if you are good at that kind of thing, I am not. <laughs> I don't, I don't sew. So I, everything I do is like the no sew method. Good morning, Miss Dini. A good cotton sock is perfect. That's exactly what you want is absolutely just a cotton sock. Nothing fancy as far as like fibers go. Okay. You don't want anything, anything synthetic, but a good cotton sock will work perfect for this project. So let's see, this one, let's leave this sock entirely intact. We're gonna make three different ones of these. Good morning from Mississippi, Miss Kathy. Thank you for letting me know where you're watching from. I always love to see where you guys are tuning in from. All right, so I'm gonna show you some quick tips that I think are gonna help us help this go a little faster. You've made these for years. Oh, Miss Dana, that's exactly what we're working on today. You got it. Um, I do, I have some essential oils right here on my table that I'm gonna add to these, and that's totally optional, but yes. I've added a little bit of a, uh, a jar lid, okay, at the top of my sock, okay? Then I have a little funnel, okay? We're gonna, woohoo, maybe I'm not gonna use that funnel. 
<laughs> I'm going to have to grab that because I'm going to need it. Hold on. Go, go, gadget arms. Oh, dropped it, didn't we? Okay, we got it back. We got it back. All right, so I'm, I'm probably definitely going to need this little funnel because I don't want rice to go everywhere. My little funnel is just a tiny bit bigger than my jar lid. I probably need a wide mouth jar. I don't know. I could kind of set this sock down in here, but if I fill it up too much, it's going to get larger than what it's going to need to to come out of the jar lid. So here's what we're going to do. My youngest was enjoying playing in the rice bowl yesterday. He buried my measuring cup. I'm like, what are you doing that for? <laughs> I'm going to need that in the morning and I'm going to make a mess. All right. I believe we're going to use about five or six cups of rice in this sock. We'll see. Okay. This is a one cup measuring cup. So let's see how it fills it up. It's going all the way to the bottom, you guys. All the way to the bottom, which is exactly what we want it to do. And this is the cheapest rice you can find, you guys. There's three cups, and let's see what we have. Ooh, ooh, we're pretty tall right there. Actually, that brought us right to the top. Now, obviously, it depends on how big your sock is, how long your sock is, and how stretchy your sock is on how much rice it's gonna hold. I've got three cups in there, and I probably might get away with another cup. We'll see. Or maybe a half of a cup. I do want to kind of work it down. I want it to have a good shape to it. We're filling it up. Now, this looks like a sock that you pulled out of the river, right? <laughs> we're going to dress it up and we're going to make it look super cute, primitive style. But if you don't like this look, you can totally skip the coffee gr coffee staining, coffee grunging, which is what I did to this sock to get this old vintage -y look. Okay, <laughs> I know not everyone's going to like <laughs> this style, but you can use this same idea to make it your own, okay? And I may not like it once I put it together. I may not like it either, but uh, you know me and my coffee grunge. I like to coffee stain stuff and make it look vintage, so I had to give it a try with my style first. Then we'll see. All right, so I've put four cups of rice in that sock, and I like it. I think it's a good a good floppiness the floppy meter says it's perfect <laughs> and the density is not too stiff it's flexible so you can wrap it around your neck put it on your shoulder put it on your arm miss deborah we are making some last minute christmas gift ideas today in this event called in the nick of time and my project we're making some diy homemade handmade heating pads using some rice, essential oils, and some socks, you guys. All right, now I'm just kind of squishing it around, just kind of reshaping this sock a little bit. I will tell you, this sock doesn't smell like a dirty gym sock anymore. <laughs> it didn't to begin with. <laughs> I wouldn't have used it, but um, it smells like coffee and vanilla. Now, I will tell you, I soaked this um, for about an hour in some coffee, instant coffee, and some vanilla. I did skip putting in the cinnamon, which usually I like to do. I did not do that this time because cinnamon can be a little bit of a skin irritant if you're putting it directly on your skin, which you may be using that, you know, someone may be using this directly on their skin. So I didn't want to go there. You know, I wanted to play it safe, but coffee and vanilla is something subtle. I did soak it and then rinsed it. Okay. So it still has a little bit of a smell, but I've rinsed, you know, most of the actual residue out of the fibers of the sock. Um, but it still retains the smell, just a real subtle smell, and uh, a little bit of the grungy look, okay? Now, before you seal this up, what you can do is you can add some essential oils. You can add just a few drops to the sock, or you can add it to the rice while you are filling your sock. Now, I'm probably not going to put any essential oils in this one. Now, look, as I've worked this sock a little bit, it's gone from up here to being filled right here. So I probably need to add a little bit more. So working it is a good thing. So I'm glad we did that. Uh, so let's put just a tiny bit more in there, which I don't have my funnel in there. Um, that jar lid helps, but just a tiny bit. Let's just put, yeah, we just needed a little bit more. So this one holds about four and a half, almost five. If we worked it a little bit more, I bet we could probably even fit a little bit more. Um, I don't want it to be so full that it's not 
flexible. Okay. Good morning, Miss Yvonne from Southern Design and Fine. Yes. Let's see. What was the question? I missed it. Um, what two groups can you find? It look in my video description. If you tap my screen. Uh, and then tap my page thing that sort of appears at the top, I believe. The video description will, I think, roll up from the bottom. Now, I know it kind of looks different for everybody, but it is in the video description. It's in the Craft on the Clock group. And the other group, I think it's Crafting Through the Seasons, I believe is the name of that. All right, so I think this is good. Now, let's just tie this off. Now, before I tie it off, you could, well, you could add essential oils to this one. I'm not going to do it to this one. Uh, I'm going to use a string of twine or jute anything without synthetic fibers because this is something that you're going to want to pop in the microwave when you're ready to use it so you don't want to use anything like a fancy ribbon or anything like that you want to use something um like a cotton and i'm not even sure this twine may be a no-no we'll see let's let's take that off i don't want to do that uh, I have, I'm going to use these fabric strips instead. I know these fabric strips are 100% cotton, so we're safe with these. Now, I did um, coffee stain the some muslin strips. We've got red. We've got uh, a red check. We've got a red stripe. I want this to look like an old grungy sock. I think I'm going to use the red stripe. I'm looking, I might mix a little bit. You know what's funny is my red check homespun, it just does not take the coffee stain very well. It just doesn't soak it up. So look at my red gingham, how much brighter it is compared to my red stripe. I don't know why it, it, it's that way. It must be a particular brand that's a little bit different. So I'm just going to cut a few of these at some different lengths. I'm mixing and matching some just plain muslin fabric strips that I have coffee stained and um, dried. You don't want anything about this to be like crispy and crunchy, <laughs> right? So I, I, didn't, I didn't go with the whole cinnamon method. I just used coffee and some vanilla. And these, even when baking them, they're still soft enough that they're not going to be an irrit ir irritation. Watch the rest of my play. Oh, have a great day, Miss Patty. Thanks for hopping on this morning. All right, so I'm going to use one of these fabric strips first just to kind of tie it off super tight at the end. And I will tell you, before I tie, before I cinch that down, I'm going to put just a little bit of hot glue where that sock is going to kind of cinch together just to kind of give it another little final seal off, if you will, okay? And then I'll tie that down right over top of that hot glue. And that just kind of helps kind of secure any. Um, uh, thank you, Miss Darlia. Thank you, Darlia, for having me in today's event as well. Miss Darlia, she is uh, from Darshay Designs. And she has organized and a marvelous job of putting together all of your presenters and event today. So you all give her a big shout out and make sure that you give her a big follow. She has... The sweetest. She is from Colorado and she does all kinds of projects and crafts. She does everything from junk journals, scrapbooking to sewing, and she is even a very well published author that many of you all may not have known that. Yes, yeah, she has her own um, novels. Is that right, Miss Adarlia? And they're available on Amazon. She's even won some. Um, awards for her work um, i mean she's amazing she's very soft spoken and she just has the most gentle nature about her so um you may not have seen her before she's um so quiet and so soft and tender uh spoken but you all will love her she's the sweetest so make sure that you give her a page of follow today good morning from georgia miss pam all i'm doing is i'm taking the top of this sock and we're just decorating it up making it look like a pretty prim sock good morning good morning ah uh, thank you miss michelle how are you um diane talent external oh uh, she is she sure is she's so talented all right now i think what i like best is when i take one strip at a time and kind of tie them at the top instead of taking one big bundle because then if i take one big bundle of strips it kind of gives me a knot a knot like, you know, the, the knot that you're tying. And I don't like that look. Um, and I want my little, uh, 
I want my little fabric strips to hang down on all sides. So um, if I do one at a time, I can kind of rotate around the top of the sock and make sure that I have some, some little tassels hanging down on all the sides, if you know what I'm saying. Um, let's do one more. Now how cute would this be to add a really cute little hang tag? Um, you know at the top now those are soft those are safe to go in the microwave so when you're ready to you can use this cold or hot okay so if you're going to use it warm like a warm heating pad you pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds take it out shake it up a little bit pop it in for, at 30 second increments until it's warm enough that you need it to be okay lay it on your neck on your shoulder on your arms even across your tummy this is a nice little handmade Christmas gift <laughs> at the last minute you're using socks and rice and fabric scraps you guys fabric scraps of all things yes <laughs> I think that's adorable I mean I know it's it would be even cuter with a little primitive hang tag I should have grabbed my hang tags I just didn't think about that now obviously you wouldn't want to heat the hang tag but um, but yes you can definitely uh, heat everything else that's on it. Now, this green sock that I'm going to put together, I'm going to use um, the same little muslin coffee stain strips on this one. But I think I'm going to add some red check. So the green and the red gives us that Christmassy look. All right. So for these socks, um, a, a little primitive hang tag would look better on them because if you're giving them as a gift, your recipient can see your style of your hang tag and know that this is not a sock that you pulled out of the swamp. <laughs> so if you add to the little style of it, they'll know that it was intentional and everything is safe to be used. <laughs> um, eight novels so far. Oh my goodness, Miss Darlia, put your page name in there. It is in the video description, but uh, sometimes I know it's hard to find, but I want you all to make sure that you can find her page. Um, okay, she um, is amazing, absolutely amazing. Now this sock, I cut off the, the toe of the sock and this one of course is open end, so I'm gonna have to tie both ends of this one. We're gonna tie this one like a little Tootsie Row or a little uh, roll of candy. So I'm gonna secure one end first before we fill it. I'm gonna do it just like we did the other one. I'm gonna almost tie it down, but before I cinch that tie down, I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue right in that little, in that little spot and then cinch it down. That's what we're gonna do. Good morning, you just hopped on this Risa well. I'm glad you're here. Yes, a fa well, that's a great idea. You're right. You could tell you that's a fabulous idea. If you have some little stamps or you could even write their name on there. That's exactly what I could do. Great idea. Thank you for that. Yes, you could have a little, uh, a little thicker strip of the muslin and you could stamp their name on there or write it with a Sharpie. <gasps> Genius. Great idea. I'm so glad y'all are here. <laughs> So glad y'all are here. <clears throat> it's always fun when creative minds can work together. You just you come up with all kinds of ideas, help each other out. I love it. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just taking these fabric strips and tying them one at a time <clears throat> in different little directions around the end of this sock. Um, Okay, now this is something so easy, you guys. I know, anybody could do this. So this is a good <laughs> heading to local paint. Oh, have fun, have fun, Miss Tammy. She's heading to a paint, maybe a paint party or paint class today, have fun. I know there's lots of fun holiday events. I'm sure that you guys will be busy and, and just hop in every weekend from here until Christmas. But that's what makes everything so much fun, you guys. Doing those fun things that you look forward to one time of the year. Okay, now I've made this look pretty raggedy, but that's cute. I love that. All right, 
Now, let's fill this one up. I'm gonna use my little jar lid and I'm gonna pop it right in the end of that sock and then put my funnel in, okay? Make sure I've got it adjusted and then I can pour my rice in. Let's see how much rice this one takes. There's one. <clears throat> There's. Oh, this sock is, <laughs> it's kind of skinny, so it's not going to hold as much as I thought it would. You guys, I might have to stretch it a little bit. We'll have to work it. Hmm, interesting. They definitely have different elasticity to them. Let me get that pushed down in there. Okay, now we'll take the jar lid out. Ooh, yeah, this one is going to be a long, skinny one. So it won't hold as much rice as I thought it would. All right, let's pour a little bit more in there. Okay. Okay. That one's cute. It's going to be cute. I'm just going to work it a little bit. Now you can pop these in the freezer. If you want to add a couple of drops of like an essential oil, you totally can. Um, I, if, if I'm doing essential oils, I probably should add a couple of drops to each cup of the rice as I add it. So on this last sock, that's what I'll do on that one. But you can use anything like lavender, chamomile. Uh, what are some others that are good relaxation ones? You could even add vanilla, even though I already have coffee and vanilla added to the the material of this sock um, so it kind of has that subtle smell of coffee and vanilla already um, so let's tie this up now how cute if you're giving this as a gift how cute would this be to bundle it up with a little box of little tea uh, or hot chocolate but i'm thinking if somebody's needing a heating pad they're needing a little extra a little extra hug so I'm thinking some hot tea or some hot cocoa maybe with a couple of cans of Campbell soup <laughs> um, things that you would think that they could get to use you know through the winter so um, how, I just think that would be so cute so sweet and not spending hardly anything at all and it's something that you can go around your house and find um, I'm sure we probably have some hot chocolate packets that, you know, we haven't used yet or some tea bags. Um, pop them in a little bag and, um, you know, add a little fabric strip, a, a little tie at the top. Yes, you can dress it up. Just, a la just because it's a last minute gift idea doesn't mean that you have to run to the store and buy something or spend a lot of money because last minute are things you know that you're thinking oh my gosh so who are the people that you usually need a last minute gift idea for could be your neighbor you know could be um it could be a um you know a family member that maybe you just found out they're coming into town at the last minute and you're thinking Oh my gosh, I didn't get them anything. <laughs> or it could be someone, you, you know, the home that you're going to um, for Christmas dinner. You're thinking, oh my gosh, I should bring them a little something, something as a thank you for hosting us. Yes. What about your mailman, your postal delivery, your UPS delivery uh, person? You guys, there's lots of people that you will need a last minute gift idea for. What about a hairdresser? Yeah, how many times have I gone to my hairdresser and thought, it's close to Christmas, I feel so bad I should have brought something. You know, just as a little token of appreciation. Nothing fancy. Good morning, good morning, Joy and Philip from Days Gone By Vintage Market. Thanks for hopping on. Um, so these are perfect little last minute gift ideas. Tuck it in with a little box of tea, a little cup of soup, maybe a little mug, or a little soup bowl. How cute. Dress it up yes one more sock to go and we're gonna be dead one more sock to go you love everything that I know not everyone's gonna love the coffee grinch look so here's one version 
this looks like a vintage primitive sock, right? Or, you know, depending on who you give it to, they might say, you pulled it out of the swap. <laughs> or this one, you could use this. This is cute. This would be perfect as a neck roll. Yeah. How many times do you get in the bed at night and you just want to relax, read a book, or maybe watch live crafting while you're in the bed? Or, you know, while you're watching TV or whatever, um, heat this up in the microwave 30 seconds at a time. Take it out, work it around 30 seconds more until you get it warm enough. Or pop it in the freezer. If you like it cold, you could do it that way too. But wrap it around your neck. Just a little relaxation. Yes, I love it. Good morning, Miss Terry from the Robin's Nest. How are you, sweet lady? All right, so I've got one more. And I'm going to do this one the same way. I'm going to cut the end off. I like having those little strips, those little fabric ties at both ends. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. And let's do one that looks, let's do the black and white, or the black uh, check home spun maybe on this one. I've got a few strips of that. Let's use that. Um, so on this one, I need to definitely tie off the ends so that we can start filling it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. If you are a regular follower of my page, I wanted to make sure that you know I will be live again on Monday at 2.15 p.m. Central. I will not be live on my page, though. I will be live over at my uh, friend Joy and Phillip's page called Days Gone By Vintage Market. I will be live on their page on Monday at 2.15 Central. Um, for a fun project. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I've got several ideas in mind. So you all want to be sure that you tune in. If you are new to my page, or maybe you're not new, maybe you've been here for a long time, but you would like to receive um, notifications before I go live, I do have a Telegram channel that I send out um, maybe, you know, photos that may have missed or reminders so before I go live okay so if you want the link to that you if you're watching here on Facebook you can find the link down at the bottom there is usually a little link icon or there's a little button that you can push that says show featured links that's what you want to push and um, in that list of links you'll find lots of things you'll find the craft on the clock group uh, you'll find the link for um, the other group that we're hosting the sand crafting through the seasons uh, but you will also find a link that says Telegram. You'll want to tap on that um, and you can sign up and get my Telegram notifications. Okay. Uh, all right. Now I've tied that off. Those are a little bit, probably a little bit longer. I don't know. They're kind of cute. I kind of like it that way. I don't know. You know what you could even do? You could even tie one of these as a loop at the top. So when you're not using it, you could hang it on a hook. <laughs> How cute would that be? That would be adorable. I'm going to have to do that. Okay. So let's fill this one up and then we'll be finished. And then the next creator up after me this morning is the Comfy Nest with Grace. You'll want to go see her. You can head over to the Craft on the Clock group or Crafting Through the Seasons. Um, it's just whichever group you're familiar with or works better for you. All the replays will be there all day today. We're going all the way up through almost 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, I know Miss Darlia, she'll be live at 930 with a fun surprise for all of you today. You will want to make sure that you definitely um, don't miss out on that. Take my word, you don't want to miss out on that. <laughs> if you read my video description, you'll see, uh, you'll see exactly what uh, she's doing. So, all right, so I've stuffed this one. This one didn't take quite as much because I cut the toe off that sock, so it didn't hold quite as much as the first one that we did. Woohoo, there we go. Now... We're going to work this a little bit because I've got it pretty full. Okay, just kind of mush it, squeeze it, work it around, and then it gets it sunk down in there. That, that worked out perfect. Okay, it needs almost just a tiny bit more. Okay, now let's use the same coordinating fabric strips. We're using the black and the cream for this one. We've got several different three different color things going on here for these. So you, this is perfect if you have fabric scraps. This is the perfect project, I'm telling you guys. This is a true um, scraps to treasure project that turns out so cute. I will add some little gift or some little hang tags to these and I will take a picture. 
I'll post it on my page and in the event groups for you guys. I'll tie a little tie. I'm not going to tie it super tight yet because I want to add just a tiny bit of hot glue just to kind of seal that opening a little bit when I cinch that tie. There. That's just a little extra precaution. All right, now this is a this is really cute. Now this I think looks a little more manly. <laughs> I don't know. You can make your own judgment if you wanted to use some themed colored fa or themed fabric. Uh, you could go with like, um, you know, if this was for for a man, I would think maybe more like a tartan plaid, um, or maybe if you even found a little fabric that had another outdoorsy theme uh, print on it that was small, that would look really cute. Look really cute. I love this idea. And you can just make up several of these and just keep them on hand. And then whenever you think of someone, you're like, ah, I didn't get anything for them. <laughs> um, then you could, um, you know, have one ready. That, that strip's a little short. I've got to have it dangling just a little bit. Got to have it dangling a little bit. Okay. It definitely needs a cute little uh, gift tag. So I'm going to work on the gift tag idea on these but how cute did that turn out <laughs> so give it a little working and so you've got a primitive little heating pad you guys isn't that cute okay so our next presenter will be live in about let's see about five minutes maybe a little bit more maybe six or seven I finished quick you guys so, oh I meant to add I meant to add vanilla to this one rats okay so what I'm gonna do and you could do the same thing to freshen yours up. Um, if you like certain vanilla essential oils that kind of are calming and relaxing, typically lavender is the most considered calming, relaxing. Lavender, chamomile, um, sometimes jasmine. Peppermint can be relaxing as far as like migraines or, or tummy issues. Um, but something like lavender, you could add just to the outside of your sock and let it soak in. Yes, crafting, craft on the clock and craft around the seasons, crafting through the seasons um, are the two groups that you can uh, head to to see the next presenter. Um, they are, there's a link to those groups in my video description. This is a new bottle of lavender. Now, essential oils are very potent, so I'm just going to add, I'm going to add three drops to each side and then just kind of let it soak in on this one. The lavender is an oil that you can add directly to your skin without adding another oil to it called a carrier oil. Carrier, carrier oils are like oils that you use to mix with other oils to kind of dilute them a little bit because they can be pretty potent, especially if you get, you know, the real deal essential oils. Um, but this will give you a soft, subtle smell. Lavender's calming, relaxing, and even helps with sleep. Did you know that? <laughs> Not hurt, let's see not heard of that one. Oh yes you love days gone by um let's see i'm missing some of your comments uh, they're talking about some shops in georgia <laughs> all right that one smells amazing so i already have vanilla when i soaked my socks in coffee and vanilla I already have that subtle coffee and vanilla and lavender and vanilla go really well. They're complementary scents. So, ah, oh, that's amazing, you guys. <laughs> that's amazing. So, if you need to like make one of these and pop them in your car for a long, you know, road trip this Christmas, how cool would this be? How cool would that be? Um, these are something that I think would be user friendly for no matter exactly no matter what age you are no matter what age where did I find let's see where do I find the video description okay so Barbara it depends on where you found me <laughs> but you can tap on if you tap on my screen um, a lot of times my my page name will show up somewhere whether the top or the bottom and if you tap on that page name then it will usually help make the video description pop up sometimes not if you just go to my page go to facebook search my sweet home living 
you'll find my page and in this video somewhere where there's a description um, it will give you the links for those groups now uh, craft on the clock you can search the bar a search bar on Facebook for that as well all right now the essential oils don't do anything to the rice they just soak right in they won't make the rice swell okay now obviously if you get these wet you might have a little bit of a problem <laughs> you might have a little bit of a problem but pop these in your freezer if you like a code pack uh, pop them in your microwave for 30 second increments until you get it as warm as you want it um, but as long as you use all cotton material you're good you're safe okay uh, the only thing that you have to worry about is if you're you, you don't want to use synthetic like uh, those fuzzy socks a lot of times that you'll see around Christmas you don't want to use those okay because they will actually melt you don't want to have a, a dilemma on your hands okay uh, let's see oh oh no miss Pam we're sending prayers for you hope you get to feeling better super soon Thank you, Miss Nancy. Love the idea. See, I'm telling you, this is something that anybody could do. Anybody could find. Thank you. You do follow and craft on. Okay, then perfect. You you should be able to click on my video in the Craft on the Clock group, uh, and before you push play, um, the the wording that shows attached to my video uh, it usually is at the top of the video. Um, there that you'll see the all the links and information that you'll need. Okay. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this idea today. Head over to the Craft on the Clock group. We're crafting through the seasons to go find Miss Grace at the Comfy Nest. She'll be our next 45 minute presenter. We have presenters all day long, you guys, all the way up until almost 10 o'clock tonight. So I'm going to go wash my coffee stained hands a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to heat up one of my heating uh, packs and uh, make me a cup of hot cocoa and sit back and watch all of today's presenters. Thank you, Miss Carol. All right, so don't throw those socks away. Save the socks, pull out your fabric strips, pull out some rice, and make some cute little DIY handmade last minute gifts of some heating packs. Where do I buy the oils? Bonnie, great question. There's lots of different places you can find oils. You can purchase them on, <coughs> excuse me, you can purchase them online. You can purchase them from independent distributors like Young Living or doTERRA. Uh, a lot of health supply stores will have good quality essential oils. Um, you'll want to make sure that they are a health grade quality essential oil, okay, uh, for the best benefit. Thank you, Miss Joy. Thank you all so much for being here on a Saturday morning. And I hope that you will check out all of the rest of today's last minute Christmas gift ideas during today's event. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again on Monday at 2.15 on the Days Gone By Vintage Market page here on Facebook. Talk to you soon. Bye guys.